kosher Jewish cuisine smells of garlic, ginger and other spices. An important aspect is the process of preparing dishes. It determines whether food is considered kosher. It is quite precise and complicated and that is why Jews find it so difficult to have places where they can eat in harmony with religion. It involves many consequences. That's why the Orthodox Jewish minority is threatened by social exclusion. Our guide to the kosher cuisine will be the chef of one of the Flemish restaurants. Every morning, then comes the rabbi, not the rabbi himself, but he has an assistant of the rabbi. And he comes to open the kitchen every day. And he, then we have to make the, to check everything, and it has to put on the fires, the ovens. And then he starts to do checking the vegetables. If it's some flies in the vegetables, he has to wash it good. But sometimes we have like a cauliflower, a whole uh, cauliflower, and it's a very lot of flies. And we buy a whole box. We have agreement with the, with the market. We can send it back because it's very difficult to check. So at each mushroom, each chicory, each vegetable, each salad, leaf by leaf, has to be checked. So he has a lot of to do because we're not cutting vegetables a day before. It's respect for the vegetables. So and then and then all the eggs, each egg has to be opened and checked if it's not a blood, because we're not allowed to eat blood. We have to use every day, every day fresh vegetables because everything has to be checked in advance. At home, we we'll live like this, yeah? But then we're not uh, the, the assistant of the rabbi, we do it by self, or me, I helping in the kitchen, or the children helping in the kitchen at home, yeah? Uh, to check it, everything. Um, the kosher kitchen it means uh, we're not allowed to eat all animals. It has to be very special uh, cut. Um, chicken we only allowed to eat regular chicken and turkey, duck, but not animals that be shot down. We're not allowed to eat. And what's very important is we're not allowed to use in the kitchen meat and milk together has to be very separated by us in the kitchen, no any, any uh, glucose. So everything is without milk, everything is without butter, cream, all the desserts is anything of milk. And so when we eat meat, we have to wait six hours till we get, can eat the diarrhea, uh, like a coffee with milk. And, um, but if we eat milk, we only have to wait one hour because the digestion of the food is uh, by milk very much more quicker than by meat. At home we have two separate kitchens, uh, let's say what means separate kitchen, two separate uh, dishes, cutlery, separate oven, um, the wash, to wash the dishes. Um, in the kitchen we have two separate uh, things. And it's very strict, everything what we buy has to be kosher, no artificial things, colors in the food, we're not allowed to eat. We have, uh, like say, latkes, it's uh, potato uh, with uh, onions and egg mixed together and we make like pancakes of it. And then we have stuffed cabbage, very, very traditional and um, it's cabbage with the meat, sometimes with rice, without rice, yes. And then we have the gefilte fish, yeah. It's, uh, we have carp filled up or we have just the gefilte fish by itself. Actually, the gefilte fish is a dish, a very poor dish because uh, people are very poor before 100 years and they went to the river, they took the fish and they filled up what left over at home. That's why it's called gefilte fish, stuffed fish. Gefilte fish is stuffed fish, yes. Um, yeah, we're only allowed to eat fish that has skills and fins. It has to be both, not one all, yeah? Both together. So that's why we're not eating also not uh, all the 
the scrims and, and uh, muscle. Uh, Shabbat is so we're not allowed to cook on Shabbat and not to put on fire, not to make switch on lights. So we prepare everything on Thursday already and we cook it on Friday. Yeah? As everything has to be cooked, everything has to be prepared. And then we have like hot hot trays with timers and we put it, uh, we regulate it on Friday. And so we have hot food, not hot food, but everything we're not allowed to Shabbat is real to get rest. So Sunday is the first day of the week and fully rest out. Yeah? Friday is the last day of the week. And Sabbath is the and so we're not allowed to 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 drive car or to spend money. Everything has to be be done. My name is Moishi Hoffman. Um, I'm the owner from this restaurant from 1984 and in the meantime it's already 35 years and uh, I still do it till so long as we can do it.